Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where we decode complex IT concepts and make them crystal clear. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of DMZ. No, not the demilitarized zones between countries, but the ones protecting your networks. So, what exactly is a DMZ in the IT and cybersecurity universe? Think of it as a buffer zone between your private network and the scary, unpredictable world of the Internet. It's a place where your publicly accessible services, like websites, email servers, or even FTP, live. Picture this. You've got two firewalls. The first one sits between the Internet and your DMZ, filtering incoming traffic to only allow requests to your public-facing services. The second firewall is between your DMZ and your private network, stopping bad actors from sneaking into your critical systems. Why do we need a DMZ? Great question. Let's say your organization hosts a web server. Without a DMZ, if hackers breach your web server, they might gain access to your entire network. But with a DMZ? They're stuck in that isolated zone, away from your sensitive data. Nice, right? Here's the cool part. The DMZ isn't just for big enterprises. Even small businesses can implement a simplified DMZ to boost their security. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It's about how you configure your firewalls and systems. So, let's recap. A DMZ protects your internal network from external threats, isolates your public-facing services to reduce the attack surface, adds a layer of defense in-depth for your security strategy. Boom! You've just unlocked a key concept in network security. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what topic we should tackle next. Stay safe, stay secure, and keep hacking. Ethically, of course. See you in the next video.